Now, when we look at who actually needs to submit this information to the database, we have EU producers and assemblers. So this is anybody who's producing or assembling products in the EU that are doing so with the intent of placing them on the market in the EU. So if you're producing product in the EU for sale in Asia, for example, then this wouldn't apply to you. But if you're a producer in the EU, you plan on putting those products on the market, then the producer has an obligation to make a submission. Also EU importers and distributors. So um, for example, if I am a, a company who produces product in the United States and I wanna import that for sale in the EU, my importer will have to make a submission. If that importer passes those products on to distributors, those distributors will also have to make a submission because they're also placing those products on the market. So a single product could be, could be submitted by multiple supply chain actors. Now, who doesn't have to submit goes down to the end suppliers or actually the retailers. So when we look at um, things like the people who place them on the shelves in the stores, they're not obligated to make any submissions, nor, nor are any actors that are supplying articles directly and exclusively to consumers. So this is people like um, Amazon.com, for example, not obligated to make this kind of submission. And if you sell directly off of your website or you don't use any importers or distributors, then you don't have to worry about this. However, keep in mind that if your products are components and they're used in other people's products and those people have obligations to submit, then you're going to need to support the data they need for their submissions. So regardless of whether you have obligations to submit, you may still face obligations to provide this information to someone in the supply chain. Learn more by viewing the full-length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.